Hey YouTube, I want to update you on some information that was sent to me. I did a show today about the loud boom that occurred in Louisiana overnight. There are many, many conflicting reports about what actually occurred and some contradictory information that was uh, posted by the sheriff of Webster Parish originally and he's since changed his story. I don't know what's going on here, but there are um, many indications that this could have been a meteor that actually flew over Texas before landing Louisiana and that was the sheriff's story as well as of last night. In fact one of the first places that he checked was Camp Minden, the site of an ammunition factory where they dismantled bombs. He clearly said last night that that area had been given the all clear and today it's being widely reported that this is actually where the explosion occurred. Now, what's so unusual about the stories that are running today is that they're actually regurgitating information that came from an explosion at the same place in 2006. It's almost word for word. Now, let me just show you some of the stories. I won't go into a lot of detail here. I'll keep this video short. If you want to um, listen to the episode today that aired, it's an hour long. It goes into this in much more detail, and I will be uploading that shortly. Yahoo News is reporting it. A loud boom and bright orange flash that shook up a pocket of northwest Louisiana last night was due to an underground explosion at the Camp Minden Industrial Park and National Guard training site, according to the Webster Parish Sheriff's Office. Despite early reports that the boom may have been caused by a meteor impact, the real cause was an explosion in an underground bunker. W, I'm sorry, KTBS has a Facebook page where they had numerous posts about this last night, and I mean some of these posts actually have 600 comments. If you go back to the beginning and read what people were posting about it, it's differing from what people are posting today. So I would use discernment in some of these news stories, and if you read the articles, read the ones, the comments that came in right away after this event happened. Um, there's supposed to be a press conference about this today. It was rescheduled, and then um, at the rescheduled time, the company that owns this site where the explosion occurred didn't show up for the press conference, so I don't know if they will be doing anything with that later on today. So check out some of the comments on this Facebook page and on some of these stories. Now, interesting enough, this is from High Beam Business. Um, Dolene, Louisiana, more than 10 explosions rocked a bomb recycling plant in northwestern Louisiana on Thursday, forcing the evacuation of an entire town and more than 400 prisoners from a nearby jail, authorities said. And this was dated August 25th of 2006. And we have a report, and this is from also copyright 2006 by the Associated Press. Ten explosions rocked a bomb recycling plant. Now, the witness report stated there was one explosion. This article, in reference to the 2006 incident, says there were ten explosions. Now, look at what Fox is reporting today. Fox News, October 16, 2012. Meteor or munitions, what happened in Webster Parish? Um, they talk about some of the numerous reports, some of the witnesses' reports. And then the Associated Press reported that at least 10 explosions rocked the bomb recycling plant in northwest Louisiana, forcing the evacuation of at least 600 students. Now, this was at 11.30 at night from two schools and more than 400 prisoners from the Webster Parish Jail. Now, they didn't even know what this was. They narrowed it down to a very rural area, which was north of the munitions plant, based on radar and some other things. So Fox has taken this part of the article that ran today with almost identical wording to an article that ran in 2006. I'm not sure what's going on here, if this is just cut and paste sloppy journalism or if they are trying to um, keep people from knowing what exactly happened. Based on radar analysis, the plume was initially as high as almost 7,200 feet above ground level. Now remember, some of the reports came from Texas that there was a fireball before this happened. Here's a 3D image being posted now on AccuWeather of what this plume looked like. And I'll put a link under this video for you to check it out. Here's another video showing something incoming from last night, but it's coming from the other direction. It's coming from the area of Florida. So was this some kind of missile attack? Was it a meteor? 
Uh, some people have said it's another Roswell incident. I don't know. All I do know is that this is happening in an area where we have methane gas coming out from under the ground. Even though it's a few hundred miles north of that area, we don't know how far this extends. If you live in this area of Louisiana, especially around the sinkhole, you have some really tough decisions to make about whether you're going to stay or not. Whether they're having you evacuate, whether it's mandatory or not, I feel terrible for the people that are living through this right now. Now this blast knocked people out of their beds and it broke windows 70 miles away. And the sheriff of this particular parish said last night, because I was following the story from the time that it broke, they could not locate the source. How could they not locate it if there was a 7,000 foot plume in his own parish? A lot of confusion going on. If you witnessed this event, or if you have any information to add to this, please share it. Um, there's been uh, multiple people who've put out videos on this on YouTube today. However, um, YouTube isn't playing anything for me. It keeps saying that this video is unavailable, so hopefully this will get uploaded and posted okay, and I will post the nuked radio episode from today um, in probably another hour or so. Stay safe, everyone.